even though you are a, a British fighter, this is going to be pretty much a, your, your British debut. Um, is that a little bit weird for you? Yeah, it's exciting to uh, be able to fight in the UK. I fought in the Wolf Slayer, uh, the one fight to get on the show, but obviously not in front of a UK crowd, uh, just for the Ultimate Fighter. So it's really exciting to be fighting in the UK. How have your preparations been going? Yeah, they're going really well. They were going well in the States, and then I wanted to come over early to uh, adjust for the jet lag. Um, there's some great guys, Team Roughhouse, obviously, Dan Hardy, um, Nico Shipcheck, uh, Dean Amersinger. Uh, and then some other guys I didn't get to train with, Jimmy Wallhead, Paul Daly, who I've trained with in the past. Um, and also Andre Wynn and Ross Pearson from the show. I mean, a lot of good guys, obviously, uh, in the UK here. Yeah, it's been a few months since um, the last saw in action at the Ultimate Fighter finale. Um, how have you developed as and evolved as a fighter since then? Uh, I've just been working on everything, really. I, mean, I think Matt Brown's quite well-rounded, so uh, I've been working on everything um, and probably a little bit more focused on the wrestling uh, than in the past. I was going to ask you about that. I mean, Matt Brown has you know, got quite a good pedigree as a wrestler. I mean, have you, what have you been working on to kind of counteract that? No, just working, you know, uh, take down defence in, in the clinch, especially. He doesn't shoot that much, but uh, he's very, very scrappy on the feet too. He likes to bang. Um, so, he's just been working a bit of everything, really. And how, do you, how do you think that uh, MMA in the UK has developed over the last couple of years? I think it's really improving at a rapid pace. Um, you know, every time I come over, I can really notice a big improvement. Um, you know, training with the guys at Leicester Shoot Fighters the other day, rolling. You know, as other part of Team Roughhouse, um, really good ground games. Um, you know, which is obviously a thing that they were lacking in the past. UK's always had good stand-up, uh, but now they're catching up everywhere. I think.